So for today, we're gonna to be looking at the Star Cross set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, at least from what a commenter said, this armor is supposed to be insp inspired by like famous armor sets. Which, if that's the case, I'm kind of like a little disappointed because I really wish that they didn't give us Cade. Uh, that being said, I wish they gave us like a Vanguard set. That would have been cool because then Titans could have gotten a Zavala set, and then Warlocks could have gotten an Ikora set. Um, and then these hunt hunters for the famous Guardians pieces uh dude they should have gave given us the hunter that made the bet with the ahamkara because i'm pretty sure she was it doesn't matter she's famous anyway so that would have been super dope but let me know what you guys think about this armor set i am pretty excited to show you guys this one and the next one because not only will that be done for all of the armor sets in the game because i'm not going to do the other armor set a because this last week i i need to make a, a stop on the content that i'm making because i need to catch up on some stuff that i left to yeah, I I, <laughs> I have ADHD, so I knew the moment that this season was going to be super long. I was, I was like, I'm going to leave everything up until the last minute because that's just how I am. But this last week that season of The Wish is active, I'm going to be going for titles, uh, weapons, other stuff here and there. It's just going to be so much that I just realistically have to give myself some time to just do that instead, which sucks because World of Warcraft has a really cool event right now, and I really want to do that, but... I need to finish these things I like some titles uh, so many things actually so I'm gonna have to and not only that I have to like prepare for the next expansion as well I still don't even have it bought I'm thinking about getting the collector's edition so I can make a video on it and I still have to like make sure I have to, all my systems ready for it because my hard drives are super full with season of actually from season of like uh, what is it called uh, the this expansion all the way up to this season i still haven't like erased all that so i still have a lot of footage to go through and erase but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think remember to hit like uh subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet because there's a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub really does help remember to hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at the star cross helm now i do think one of them looks better than the other let me know which one you think looks better but for me we're going to be looking at the star cross helm photo photo draw like actuators for the arms specifically the synth steps ornaments uh the Katoria blousen for the chest piece valkyrie and the greaves for the boots and then the kogan beat mark for the mark obviously so this is pretty funny considering uh the reason we're using war weary which is a rare shader that i use it is because the photo draw like actuators has orange in there and i was just like just lean into it which is what i ended up doing and I think it looks really, really cool. I will say I do think the females look a little bit better just because the arms on the men's side look a little bit small compared to the chest piece. So that's why I think the women's side looks a little bit better just because, again, the arms look don't look as small with the chest piece because the chest piece already looks small for them. So the only thing I would switch out would probably be the mark. I think the mark is a little too much. That being said, I like how the mark and the gatorier blousen look together i think they look really cool together but that's honestly probably switch out the boots maybe that's why i'm feeling it's looking like a little too small but other than that i think it looks amazing let me know what you guys think as for the next set we're gonna be using the star cross fist with the Katoria blousen again this one kind of makes sense though once you see where my head was going so we're gonna be using one eye to mask for the boots the n7 greaves and then for the mark the star cross mark as well so my whole well, shader is going to be whisper sheet but my whole shtick for this one was uh the jewelry so like the chest piece has that jewelry on the neck and then underneath the chest piece and then the arms have that like same kind of texture almost for the for the gold and i was just like i'm just gonna lean into that because i think it looks really cool and i actually like how this one came out a little bougie for my taste but i think it looks really cool the only piece i would actually switch out would probably be the mark i don't think the mark looks good with this that being said it's still gonna give that texture of that gold uh like lines it has that as well i don't think it's the same color though i think it's brown instead but either way i think this set looks amazing i think the tight the male titans look a little bit better for this just because they look a little bit bulkier that being said i you know what no i think the males take this one just because the females uh the shoulder pads look a little bit funny to me they're just like a little too big compared to everything else but <clears throat> let me know which one your favorite is 
As for the next set, we're going to be using Synthoseps again, but this one we're going to be using the Flex Enhanced Replicate Ornament, which is the SIVA ornament, and we're using the Potentiate Threads, which is the ornament for this ornament. So I've made a SIVA video. I will have it up right now if I fucking remember. And I, I think I switched a few pieces out because I don't think I had Potentiate Threads uh, available at the time. So. I definitely think this set looks amazing, especially with the star-crossed heart. I think that one looks cool with this, but for the helmet, Veritas helm is an easy choice considering you're going for something. For me, at least, I like it when it has like human anatomy with the SIVA stuff, just because that makes more sense to me. And then the Kim Flesh mark. I still think this one looks pretty cool with it, but for the Shader Crucible, Alizarin was an easy choice just because... Uh, it makes all of this look very like not fucked up but kind of fucked up like the metal you'll see is kind of like worn out almost it's hard to explain but i definitely like this set i would probably just honestly <sighs> switch out the potentiate threads for the star crossed boots and then the chest piece i would switch out for something else honestly i really like the set that i made for the siva titans but it's not that this one's bad it's just it's I don't know what it is uh, maybe the shader because I don't like the white cloth on the helmet or not the helmet but the the neck it's it's rough like I like this set but I don't like this set let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we have one that I actually really like and I've made this in the past so for this one we're gonna be using Kaiden Ramparts with Trace of the Thorn Throne Thorn Trace of the Throne Ornament and this one is kind of cool at least i think it's cool for the chest piece renaissance and fury plate for the boots star cross footsteps and then for the mark uh the florian mark so i like this one a lot just because there's a lot of metal organic stuff going on like i think the ribs on the chest look super cool especially since they move a lot um yeah overall i think this would be just like a biomechanical type of feel for me which is why I use Dreaming Spectrum because, well, I could have used other shaders, but Dreaming Spectrum specifically just combines everything into one cohesive color. That being said, the helmet is more white than everything else, which kind of pisses me off. But uh, the other color you could go for is super black. That would turn everything just into one cohesive black. That being said, it kind of like defeats the purpose because you wouldn't able you wouldn't be able to see a lot of the intricate pieces because it just all of it is black. So. I think the best one would be Argent Territory. That being said, they fucking destroyed that shader. It's not good anymore. So that is very unfortunate. But I really like this set. It's just I would need to find a really, really good shader that complements everything or just switch out the helmet for something else, which is definitely viable. Um, I was thinking about putting the Veritas helmet again, just because that is probably the best helmet for it. That being said, I like the idea of having a spiky helmet, which is why I went with the Forian helm. But let me know what you guys think about this one. Let me know what you guys think about all of the sets in general. I really like a lot of these sets. That being said, I do think the Titans have the weakest pieces. Not by much, granted, because I think the Warlocks also have some pretty good sets. Actually, you know what? I'm looking at the Warlock ones right now. I think the Warlocks are way better than the Titans, but I think the Titans uh, are the lowest one right now. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.